Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I've just come up here into the spare room. I have my yoga mat in here and sometimes what I do, not every day, but sometimes what I do is I come up here and I'll just hang out for a few minutes, just meditate even a little bit before I start my day. But one thing that I wanna say though about almost my approach to meditation when I come up here, because I think a lot of times when we think about practicing um, or integrating any kind of healthy practice into our life is we feel like we have to do it a certain way and if we're not doing it a certain way then um, we feel like we're doing it wrong and it's harder to stick to but my approach honestly is I'm not forcing myself to sit here and close my eyes and focus on my breath for 15 minutes or you know I have to do it a certain way because quite frankly I find it difficult to force myself to sit still <laughs> for long periods of time. Honestly, I just let myself kind of do whatever feels good and right for me in the moment. Sometimes I'll do a bit of stretching, sometimes I'll just sit here for one minute, maybe two minutes, or just like let myself think of things. And other times I do feel like just focusing on my breath and doing some of that more traditional meditation. Uh, sometimes I'll look out the window, we have lots of big trees out there that this window looks out to, so it's really quite peaceful. Um, but I guess what I wanna say is that there's no right or wrong way to integrate a type of practice that works for you at any time of day. It doesn't even have to be the morning. Um, yeah, just do what feels right. It's breakfast time. You know what that means, time to make breakfast. We're a little low on groceries. I'm gonna be going to the grocery store later in the afternoon but for now i gotta come up with something to make i need to get creative we have eggs we have a giant tomato this thing is the size of my head it's the size of my head it's the size of my face our neighbor gave this to us oh it's leaking oh it's super juicy i think i'm gonna do i think i'm gonna do some omelets okay this is what i've come up with we have four eggs i found a few mushrooms some button mushrooms. oh there's randomly garlic in there would you look at that? A little bit of marble cheese and this gigantic tomato. So I think I'm gonna do a little omelet with this. We do have some apples in the fridge too, so I think we'll slice up some apples. giant tomato has kind of just turned to mush, which is a little weird, but we're just going with it. All right, here's our omelets. I will admit these are not the most attractive omelets I've ever made. The tomato was so like juicy and wet that it didn't really um, flip easily. I tasted a bit of it. It's honestly like a pizza omelet because there's mushrooms in there, <laughs> lots of tomato. I even put oregano and basil in it. So anyway, one for Sean, one for me. It is cold. Like it's chilly in here. I'm out of the shower, I've done my hair, I've done my makeup. Um, also, most importantly, I always, always, always moisturize every time I get out of the shower. This is the moisturizer that I'm currently using. It's a serum by Skin Essence Organics. This is the Neroli. I also have their rose hip seed oil though. This one's also really nice. Also, if you're curious to know what makeup items I use, I do have a video up that I uploaded recently on my kind of natural, very minimal makeup collection, everything in here. So I'll leave a link below to that video as well. So before I head out to the grocery store in a few minutes, I'm going to write out a little grocery list. Um, I'm just keeping it really, really small. It's just like a miniature grocery shop because we're gonna do our full grocery shop on the weekend um, but because we were up at the cottage we're just like 
randomly low on groceries midweek and blah. Then the other thing I have to do because I'm gonna be going that direction, I'm just gonna finish writing out some of our thank you cards from our wedding. Uh, we're mailing some of those out. So I have a couple more to write up. Just gonna quickly do that and then I can head out. Before I head out to the store, I'm gonna actually make myself a sandwich. I'm gonna make myself a toasted tomato sandwich, which I haven't actually had in quite a while. Unfortunately, I don't have very much bread left. Just these little, this little end bit, one little slice here. But I just figured because there's like so much of this tomato, I'm just gonna try and use it up and I feel like a toasted tomato sandwich would be delicious. It's basically just toast with tomato and some mayo and black pepper and pretty simple. but before I go, I have to show you our beautiful new painted front door. I just finished painting this uh, front door last week and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It's a beautiful, soft sage green. It just felt like our front entrance needed some color and I think it turned out so beautifully. We also had changed the window uh, insert as well. I'll, I'll share a little before and after picture here. Um, but yeah, it's looking so good and I'll show you the outside as well. Here's the outside as well. So happy with it. It actually looks, yeah, it's like a very soft, very, very, very soft sage green. We don't yet have a car, so I'm walking to the grocery store, but we are gonna go look at some cars uh, this weekend actually. We're gonna do a little bit of car shopping and so that's exciting, but it's about a 20, 25 minute walk to the grocery store, so it's not too bad. Certainly used to walk a whole ton when we lived downtown, so. Um, but yes, on the lookout for a car. Alrighty, I am back from the grocery store. I've just laid everything out here because I thought I would do a quick little grocery haul. This is just a miniature grocery haul. This is definitely not like a huge or full grocery shopping that we would normally do on the weekends. Uh, no particular order. Let's start over here. I picked up some crackers. Sean really likes these crackers. Um, they're just great for having around with some cheese or hummus, that kind of thing. So these are the nut thins. Um, I also got, oops, I also got some sun-dried tomatoes. I was thinking of doing a sun-dried tomato lentil -y pasta type of thing uh, a night this week. Got some bouillon cubes, which I think I'm gonna make with dinner tonight because I like to do a little um, kind of roasted chicken with a little herb gravy that I use this with to, to make, so. I also got a can of pumpkin puree because it is the fall time and feeling like some pumpkin-y recipes are just feeling like something I want to make. I got some broccoli for, you know, some veggies with dinner. Got a couple Lara bars, the chocolate peanut, no, chocolate chip peanut butter. Like those. Got some marbled cheese as well. Uh, some kale, chard, and baby spinach. I love to have this particular one on hand because I use it a lot in smoothies. Um, they're nice because they're baby greens. They're not as strong in flavor, so they're really great for adding to smoothies. I got some eggs, some omega-3 brown eggs. Good to have some of those. Got some bananas as well. These ones are pretty green, but always good to have. We were out of those, love those for smoothies and such. Also got some raspberries. I always love to have some kind of berry in the refrigerator. I also got another loaf of, this is probably my one of my favorite types of bread. So. Um, I had some of this earlier, but this is just another loaf I needed to get. This is by Silver Hills. It's their Sprouted Power, the Big 16 bread. It's a nice sprouted loaf, so the grains have been sprouted. So they've been soaked and sprouted. Um, can be a little bit easier for some people to digest, but 
Um, you can also increase the nutritional quality a little bit when these are sprouted. Got some peanut butter. This is just plain, unsweetened peanut butter. It doesn't have any sugars or oils added to it. It's just peanuts. I also often like to have almond butter on hand, but I was kind of in the mood for some peanut butter, so there's that. Got some navel oranges. I got some ginger as well. This goes really great in a nice green smoothie, uh, specifically with pineapple, but I also got frozen pineapple because it adds a really nice spicy, zesty flavor, nice and fresh. And then lastly, I got some baby cucumbers as well because Sean likes these great little snacky things you can dip in hummus and such. So got some of those. checked on our tomatoes in our garden in a while so I'm curious to know how they're doing the last time I checked there was like we had one big one and then there was like a few other little ones but like the weather's getting so much colder now that oh there was a bunny there was a bunny the weather's getting so cold that I don't know if they're like getting ripe or not so let's let's see oh no oh that's not good that that's that's not good. Oh wait, we've got a few others. But they're not really like, I don't think they're gonna get right because the weather is way too like cold now, I think. I think we planted these too late in the season. Oh well. I think that the tomatoes won't really survive the rest of the season. It's beautiful out here. It's chilly, but it's beautiful. We fall. I brought in our lemon tree um, last week because it's been outside all summer, but because obviously it's getting colder. I brought it inside and hopefully, hopefully he's doing okay. Um, I'm excited though, because he should produce lemons at some point in the future. He might need a bigger pot though, so. So to finish off today's video, I'm getting dinner started here and I'm gonna be doing some roasted chicken in the oven. I forgot to take the chicken out of the freezer, so it is frozen, but that's okay. I'm just adding some olive oil to a little um, oven safe pan here with some water and I'm gonna pop that in the oven. And then I'm just cutting open some acorn squash and I'm gonna put that onto a pan, flush down with a little bit of water in the pan, and I'm gonna let that roast with the chicken. Dinner is ready, and so what I did here with the chicken was um, I just added a couple bouillon cubes into the water around the chicken and I let it cook with it. And then once the chicken was done, I took it out of the oven, let the chicken sit for a moment, and then I just took all those juices and the bouillon cube mixture and I just stirred it with some cornstarch to thicken it. It's really, really tasty, this like nice sauce. And there's some mashed acorn squash, some broccoli. Looking good. <laughs> 